Now, in this today's tutorial, what we are going to see is if let's say you are having one heat exchanger or any vessel where you will be having one nozzle which is attaches with your shell from the downside, the purpose of having that nozzle or let's say the sump head. What do you mean by sump? So there is some cylinder which is attaches as a nozzle and after that there would be a dished end. So if there is a dished end onto which you can have a another nozzle. The purpose of this sum is to collect all the possible fluid which can be drained into that particular thing and from where you can get the connection to the pump or any other piping. So the sum is very important in many of the vessels or heat exchangers. So here we are going to demonstrate how to attach a dish end to a nozzle. So you can see if we go into the nozzle, there is no option by which we can directly attach any dish to any of the nozzle. So what we have to do, first we have to double click on the nozzle and we have to deselect the standard flange option. So let's say I am double clicking on it and let the nozzle dialog box open. So let's say nozzle N3 is there. The remaining dimensions I am not going to change. Here the purpose is not how to design the nozzle but how to attach any dish to any particular nozzle. That is what we are interested in. So I am going to click over here none option. So automatically the flange type series and the grade everything becomes none. And the flange which is attached to this nozzle will vanish. So this is what we are intended to do. So what we have done, we have just clicked none over here. So once we are going to click none over here, how does that look like? Let us have a closer look at. So you can see to this nozzle, there was earlier a standard flange which has been attached. Now there is no particular flange. If you want, you can increase the projection as well as per your requirement. Okay. So here I'm going to demonstrate how you can attach any dish tent as a sump head to this particular nozzle. In the procedure, let us follow. So let us say I have clicked upon this particular component which is selected. The moment I click upon the last selected element, you can see the last selected element is this, right? And that's the reason why it is getting highlighted because that is what we have created. Now, what is our interest? Our interest is to have a dish end which can be connected to this nozzle. So, how to do it? Let us click upon dish option, right? So, I am clicking upon ellipse. What is the nozzle? N3. So, I am going to click here and type N3 dish. Okay. So, what I have done? I have typed N3 dish. So, what is the diameter? 450 mm. Okay. What is SF, let's say 38 mm straight flange. What is the required thickness? Let us put that data as 5 and 6 because the required thickness is 4.5. Internal is 3 mm, 5 and 670. The remaining things I am not going to click here. The sum head option is this dish is and some head yes so i am clicking upon this some head option earlier you can see this parent nozzle window or this parent nozzle option is disabled the moment i click upon this check box then this becomes unable and now i can choose it from here to which nozzle you would like to attach this dish end as a some head so what is that nozzle nozzle n3 so i am going to click from here nozzle n3 the moment I click it, you can see over here, the dish what we have created as the last element will be attaches over here directly. So this is how the sum head can be attached to the parent component. So if you wish, you can have a nozzle on it as well. So let's say I'm going to have nozzle N5, let's say two inch nozzle is there. Schedule, let's say I'm going to have a 2 inch 160 schedule because the corrosion allowance is 3 millimeter because the other schedules will not pass in UG45. 
So let me just choose the schedule. So what is the schedule? 160 is what the schedule I am going to click upon. So UG45 failed. Why so? Because 3mm was the corrosion allowance. So now I have created this as 160. The offset dimension is 0. Layout angle is 0. 150mm is projection. I am going to click here as OK. So you can see that one nozzle will be attached on the dish end from the bottom side. So from where the drain can be attached, the drain piping can be attached. So this is very simple, how to attach any sump head to a particular nozzle. I hope you must have enjoyed this and this may be going to help you in your daily design projects as well.